sixth in rushing yards per game and 27th in yards per rush. Doggy, I'm starting with you. Who needs this one more? I think the Giants do only because based on the schedule. Okay. Dallas loses this game. Their next two games at home, Houston and the Colts. Mm -hmm. So you figure they can win both those. That gives them nine wins. The Giants' schedule is a lot trickier. Remember, they have not played the Eagles yet, and they have two with Washington. They also have to play at Minnesota. So the Giants need every possible win they can get because to get the 10 minimum, that's a hard schedule for yeah. them. They're all banged up. Their offensive line is sick. You know, they have no receivers. Dallas has lost three Thanksgiving game day games in a row. You know, they yeah. lost last year to the Raiders. 38 million watched. Yes. Raiders beat them in overtime. So I think it's, A, a very hard game for the Giants. And here go the other way, maybe. But I think the Giants, from a standpoint of getting to 10, making a postseason, have to have the game. Well, you're wrong. But what else is new? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. By the way, I can't uh, have a good morning. You're wrong. But what else is new? I mean, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We have to put things in this proper perspective now that we've reached the second half of this NFL season. Mm. No one expects anything from your New York Giants. They're playing with house money. Because the fact of that the, the injuries? Yeah, 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 well, we were right, doing I something. understand that. But the point is, is that when you look at the New York Giants, the reality of the situation is they came into this season. That's why Dable was a coach of the year candidate and remains to be a coach of the year candidate because the job that he's done is absolutely phenomenal because minimal expectations were accorded to the New York Giants. With Daniel Jones as your quarterback, you don't really have a starting quarterback in a lot of people's eyes. You don't have a number one receiver. Shepard went down with injury. Saquon Barkley is pretty much the lone weapon that you have on the offensive side of the ball in a lot of people's eyes and the fact of the matter is they've overachieved so because they've overachieved anything they give you as long as they don't wet the bed and nose dive and lose like six of the next seven or seven in a row or something like that you'll look at the Giants and if they end up with 10 wins you'll give up you'll stand up and give them a standing ovation if the Giants won three games the rest of the way the Dallas Cowboys are the one with Super Bowl expectations. The Dallas Cowboys are the one with Dak Prescott. They're the ones with C.D. Lamb. They're the ones with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. They're the ones with Micah Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, and Tavon Diggs. They're the ones with this crew that Jerry Jones has declared publicly is a Super Bowl contender, a team with legitimate Super Bowl expectations. So when I look at it from that perspective, imagine if they went on the field today and lost to the New York Giants on their home turf on Thanksgiving Day. Just imagine that. And also, let's take this into consideration. We got questions as to whether or not they're going to beat San Francisco or Philadelphia, period. Well, if you're the Dallas Cowboys, don't you want a home playoff game? Don't you want Philadelphia and San Francisco to have to come back to Big D, to AT&T Stadium, a.k.a. Jerry's World? Even though you lost to San Francisco there last year, you'd want another shot at them on your home turf instead of having to go on the road because they ain't going to be the Minnesota Vikings. You ain't going to San Francisco and Philadelphia and doing to them what you did to Minnesota this last week. All of those things to me elevates the level of culpability and responsibility and urgency attached to the Dallas Cowboys. They've got a pretty weak schedule compared to that of the New York Giants, no doubt, doggy. But I look at them and I say to myself, you know something? They want a shot at winning the division and getting a top seed. Be winning today is a must if you're trying to do that. Well, he's not wrong. Stevie's proper. If they want to go out there and try to win the NFC, they probably got to have a chance to still catch Philadelphia, and they mm -hmm. play them Christmas Eve in Dallas. But I can't evaluate the Giants, Stephen. Well, they're not supposed to be 7-2 and two anyway. Dable's done a great job. So now we give them a standing ovation because they gave you a good effort. I can't do that. They were seven up and two down. When they were seven and two, did you think they can get the ten games win? And yeah. give them a yes, you did. Absolutely. Well, now they lost to Detroit, so now they've lost their little parachute. Yeah. They've lost their cushion, so they got to make up for that loss. And that's why today, although it's an impossible game, that's why today, if they ever got it. They'd have the edge on Dallas, and they have a scenario where they should be able to win a couple of more, maybe even three, and get into the postseason. If they lose today, there's a good chance that they won't even make the playoffs. Dallas is making the playoffs anyway. So if Dallas is making the playoffs, regardless of a win or a loss today, and the Giants may not, how in the world could it be a bigger game for the Cowboys? Well, I understand. See, again, because to me, you're not expecting much for the New York Giants. Listen, we're looking at Darius Slayton, right? This kid, Darius Slayton, I'm looking at his numbers, okay, right here. Do you know he's the Giants' leading receiver? The leading receiver on the New York Giants, 10 games into the season, has 30 400, 413 yards. Yeah, that's terrible. On 24 catches. 24. Come on, y'all. 
Come on, y'all. The fact of the matter is you look at the New York Giants and you simply don't expect much. That's all I'm saying by that. You don't expect much. Anything they give you, you'll take and you'll be happy with it if it ends up being a W. If the New York Giants ended up going three and four over their last seven games, you're going to look at them and say, wow, what a season. They ended up ten and seven. Wow. That's what you're going to do. That's unacceptable for the Dallas Cowboys. It's unacceptable for them. You don't That's the angle that I'm taking. And by the way, it's not a bad I, angle. I, I, I understand. I, I love how you love looking at Molly when you you know you talk. Well, Molly I was, and I was about to talk yeah, to him about something. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. You're wrong, okay. doggy. What are these teams? What are doggy. these players supposed to you know what? Well, we're not supposed to be seven and two. So let's not win. No, 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 no. Sense. I'm just saying he, that everybody. He, just, he has no faith any longer after that Detroit loss. Yeah, after all the injuries, they got they're spanked super... by Detroit. But, by the way, it was a bad game. Spanked. But do you have any Lions hope? Are good, though. Wait, do you have any hope that Saquon could go off? Uh, That's no, the only hope. You know why I don't? The only hope. I don't because they have nobody to throw the ball. So if you, I mean, he's a good defensive coordinator. So what Quinn's going to do is going to put six or seven guys at the line of scrimmage and he's going to take Barkley away. All right, David, uh, Daniel Jones, you beat us. I'm not letting Barkley do it. That's what the Lions did. He only had 22 yards rushing against the Lions. So if he didn't do anything against the Lions, isn't Dallas going to take the same totally page agree. out of I it? I totally agree. I totally agree, which, again, adds more pressure because imagine if Saquon Barkley still managed when you know they ain't got much of a passing attack, when you know the plan should be, go ahead, Daniel Jones, go ahead and beat us, and you still let Saquon Barkley go off. You let that happen. I mean, that is an indictment against that run defense that has already been indictable on numerous occasions this season. That's I, the key. I understand. And, you know, they're not going to allow that to happen. And Dallas is favored to win by, right, you know, right, 10 points. Right. They're probably going to win the game. The thing I have an issue with him, you know, what are you going to tell an NFL football player? Hey, guys, you've had a good year anyway. You're going to probably not win more than 10. We're injured. Ah, who cares if we lose? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.